Good morning, everyone. Today I'm talking about my top five schooling fish. Uh, you know, I get asked a lot, like, what would you keep? What, what's a good fish? That type of thing. And so we're going to hit my top fa five right now. So I think you got to mention Cardinal Tetras. Cardinal Tetras, they look amazing. You know, they got the, the blue and red stripe. They get about, you know, two and a half inches or so. They, uh, you know, like they can handle warmer water with discus, things like that. So there's lots of benefits to them. They school up relatively tight and uh, they just always look great in a planted tank. Now, I'm not going to choose this as a number, another number, but we've also got the Neon Tetra. Most people can't tell the difference besides the price. The main difference is you've got a blue head and a red tail. So if you zoom in on them, see that blue head and a red tail? Yeah, the Cardinals have red and blue all the way through the body. Neons don't get quite as big, but usually they're going to be about half the price. So if we come over here, you can see a Cardinal Tetra display tank in here. And, uh, you know, we've got lots of dwarf Sagittaria. And then we have the Cardinals up above it. It's a very, very simple display tank that always looks good. So... You know, that's Cardinal Tetra, number one. Now, what else are we looking at? I think I'd be doing a disservice to everyone if I didn't mention Rummy Nose Tetras. So let me show you those. That's these guys here. So they've got a red nose, kind of the Rummy Nose, right? And they have the flag tail, you know, the black and white stripe on the tail. And they tend to be a real tight schooler, one of the tightest schooling fish you could buy. I'm trying to see if I can spook them without freaking them out so you could see... You know, so there we go. We're starting to see some of the schooling behavior. Uh, and they just, they'll, they'll group up real tight, especially if you have a predator in the tank. Now, some of the good things about these guys is they'll kind of dull out the color in their nose. So you'll lose that red if there's some kind of threat in the tank or something's not doing, like water parameters off, something like that. So that's kind of an extra bonus. Obviously, that red and that black and white stripe looks amazing against the backdrop of a planet tank, so, you know, what's not to love about that? On top of those, then it gets a little more uh, interesting, I think, because not a lot of people know about this one. This is the silver tip tetra. i got to walk down here and show you. Um, ooh, I might. I've been selling a lot of them. But what's, what's lovable about these guys, besides the coloration, I showed these off just the other day in my wife's tank, and I ever said, what, what is that fish? And so, you know, they're relatively docile. You see here, they're living with the betta. That's good. They get about two and a half inches, but the coolest part is this. They'll come towards your finger, typically. And I'm a little bit low, so they're not really doing it. But if you look at my other videos on silver tip tetras, you'll really see them group up tight. There we go. They're really starting to do it now. But they'll follow your finger around. And the ones with the extra orange on them, that is the males, and the females are the kind of lighter color, but either way, they both look good, so you don't have to worry whether you're getting males or females, something like that. Again, look great in a planet tank, what's not to love. Uh, so yeah, Silver Tip Tetra is my number three, you know, I'm not really ranking these on first to worst or anything like that, but three out of five. Uh, then if I got to pick another one, I'm going to scroll down back through here and we're going to look at these guys right here. This is the Pork Chop Rasbora. They don't get as big and they get their name from having the black on the side that kind of looks like a pork chop. They're not a super duper tight schooler, but they look amazing. They're a different color pattern, things like that against a planet tank or just in a big community tank. They go really well with... Uh, like the neons or the cardinal tetras I showed you just because they can uh, offer that nice contrast for you. So I think that's an undervalued one. Yeah, there's the Rasbora Het, which gets larger. That's what these are over here. Very similar fish. They just get larger. Kind of, you can notice the, the black spot is bigger. And then on top of that, so if that wasn't enough, there's another morph. There's the uh, purple or black Rasbora Het, which is right here. And uh, these guys, you know, pretty cool, different, you know, especially in a planet tank. And then I, I should have shown this earlier when I was showing neons, but these are gold neon tetras in here, so kind of a leucistic form. Uh, but that only leaves me with one more choice. And if I got to pick a choice, it's another one of my display tanks, the light 
isn't currently on, but maybe I'll go turn it on. And that's, I gotta walk down here. Boom, the Ember Tetra. And there's a little ball of red, they don't get huge, and they look amazing, and they can go in nano tanks. so if you're looking for a good nano tank schooling fish, this is a great one for it. Uh, the red obviously pops against plants, things like that. Um, you know, so let me let me take you over real quick. You know, we're gonna. A lot of times, obviously, I like a fish, so I set up a display tank, and uh, got, got customers outside my store here, and they're uh, you know shining the lights. But so here's the tank. It's in the dark. We're after hours at this point. Let me turn this back on, and boom. So I've got them living with the pistos. You can see there. That's an pisto agazizii, and we've got them. Just kind of, you know, light just came on, so their uh, color isn't exactly popping. Uh, but, you know, they're nice and tightly schooled. You see that? Yeah, there's a few stragglers, you know, over here in the weeds. But for the most part, very tightly schooled. That's good. So, yeah, that's my top five. So, if I had to pick top five, those are them for tetras. And I think now you've got a little basis on if you're looking for a tetra, those are the favorites. There's lots of other ones. Don't get me wrong. Lots of other ones, and I'll talk about them some other day. But those are my top five for a schooling fish, or at least, you know, they're not even all tetras because they had the rasboras in there. But that's my top five schooling fish for sure. And, uh, you know, I could probably make a list of 25, but we're going we're gonna to stop it at five so you can digest that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow.